Welcome everyone across Texas to Texas GIS Day and our special Austin edition of our ATX GIS Day, Texas GIS Hero. My name is Courtney Rowe and I am honored to have nominated and be here in the halls of Tenris with our own Felicia Ratiz. She just recently retired from Tenris after 23 years this September 2022. And she was not only the Deputy GIO, Geographic Information Officer of Texas, but she was also the Director of Tenris. So it is my honor to share with you all a time with my mentor and friend, Felicia Ratiz. I'm very proud of the state of Texas and the, the state of GIS here. That gives me a sense of pride. Um, and um, just the community in Texas, they really care about the work that they do. I think the GIS community, as um, I've come to know people over the years, everyone um, in this industry is so passionate about what it is that they do. They're very passionate, they believe in what they do, um, and they're, they're problem solvers. So what, what other things would what the GIS community be like without her? Well, it'd be a lot quieter. So, you know, she she's, she loved to talk to people. That was one of her things. We've all been hitting on on this in different ways, but you know, she was she was just really willing uh, to to engage in conversations with anybody that wanted to that was interested. Or I think it's just like I said, inspirational. They're they're inspiring. Every time I listen to someone talk about their project or even their problem. Um, I can see, you know, and hear in their voice how um, passionate they are and they want to either solve the problem or they have solved the problem. And it's just, it's incredibly inspiring to see when someone does break, you know, have a breakthrough. She uh, is what I would call a servant leader. I've seen her leaders, big time leadership. Uh, she's, she somehow has the ability to, to completely listen. If you're talking to her, she, she actively listens to yeah. you and she understands what you're saying to the point where she makes you feel like you're the most important person in the room. It's amazing to me the um, intelligence in this group. It's um, always inspiring to me that um, I learn from others. Um, so, and, and I mean, I, I also believe that everybody is so um, just good with each other and cool with each other and they love to network and they love to learn about other um, projects. So yeah, I think, I think it's a really good group, especially here in Texas. I guess what has she not done for the, the GIS community? I mean, there's, that, that's, I can't imagine the, the G, Texas GIS without her as part of it. You know, she, she's contributed so much in terms of the guiding us through several meetings and, and working on the strat map and setting up the GIS forum and all of these great things that she's done. You know, so it's, uh, I think everybody's with it positively affected by that. I think my passion um, is uh, is leadership and watching and helping people succeed. She's like the ultimate collaborator. I mean, everybody feels welcome. Everybody, it actually, I like to say that I, I try to model myself after her in some ways just because she's so inclusive with everybody. That I hope someday I could be as, as that I do it as well as she does. I think that being able to hitch my wagon on someone else's and help them, push them up that hill, push them up that mountain, that's that's where I um, that's where I aspire to be, and I, that's where I want to be is to help others um, get to the point that they are successful. Well, you know what, Felicia was there from the beginning to help build a foundation, which we all benefit from, and you know what, that's her legacy. You know, not only that, but just the, the positive attitude of what can be done with it. And not really being constrained, you know, by whatever, you know, uh, gets in our way, but uh, to, to just uh, think of what is possible. Raised by my father, and um, he was just adamant about me becoming a professional woman. Just, you're going to college, you're gonna become a professional woman. I had two children very early, but I didn't really let it stop me. It took me a while to go back to school, 
But then I learned about this um, digital mapping thing. And this was um, 1997. And uh, I heard about it and I was like, that is so cool. I love maps. Who doesn't love maps? And so I went to the geography department at the University of Texas and um, I scored an internship at Tenris. I was very lucky. Uh, I interviewed, it was a free internship. And uh, I remember talking to Miguel Pavon and saying, I did not get into the one GIS class that the University of Texas finally had. It was their very first one and I didn't get into it. So how can I learn what it is that I want to learn? Felicia at that time, she was uh, taking classes in the geography department, but most of her classes were like physical geography and cultural geography. And the one GIS class that she wanted to take was full. Still, she got an internship here with the Texas Natural Resources Information System. And uh, she introduced herself and said she wanted to learn more and be more capable. So he actually took me under his wing and he was um, one of my, I would say, uh, mentors and taught me, uh, he just sort of wound me up and let me go. And, um... and what I saw was like a little sponge that needed a lot of water. And she just took the knowledge writing. She came and asked questions. She wanted to learn and be more um, instrumental here at Henry. She wanted to, to belong. And that was 25 years ago and she belonged every minute of it. And he, he's still my mentor to this day. So yeah, I really like being able to help others succeed um, and watch them grow. We had an intern here and her name was Gayla, and um, she was very young when she started, and um, I could see how intelligent and organized she was. Felicia Ortiz was one of the first persons that I met when I walked in the doors at Tenerys as an intern. And, you know, just from the very beginning, she has this amazing warm smile, she's very inviting, and I just knew that this was going to be a good group that I wanted to know more about. Um, she was around for a few years and then um, when she finally started her real professional career she went to the University of Texas Center for Space Research. I was uh, lucky in being able to get her, watch her grow, watch her succeed. I think it, in, you know, it was my passion to make sure that that program continued and, and it's, it is. It, it has endured over the years um, and it's still strong and I think it's really strong today and it's it's because of the leadership it's under now it's under Gayla Mullins and she's really taken that team and, and she's run with it so. Felicia led the strategic mapping program was leading the strategic mapping program when I came to Tenerys as a remote sensing specialist and so she was my leader in that effort and so she says there isn't a playbook, but I actually did learn the playbook from her, and that was just how important it is to keep these relationships alive. I feel successful when others succeed. This is the best place to work. It has just been, I, I, don't, I don't ever remember a time where I dreaded really coming to work. Yeah, so when I was an intern here at Tenerys and then in my early days at Tenerys, I remember she kind of would describe it as a little bit of a boys club or just, you know, well, we got to we got to get the boys on board with that or whatever. And I I do remember the day that we became 50% women and 50% men at Tenerys with our hires. And that was a, a pretty huge thing to celebrate and she of course has a lot to do with that being our head queen <laughs> in that um, area and um, really made um, the women that were coming up in the profession feel really comfortable. It is it's sort of it's, it's interesting to know that yeah I, I did have a little bit to do with uh, the building blocks of that. Yeah. Um, I, it, it's a good feeling, right? It's, uh, I, I, uh, I feel humble, humbled. So, uh, whatever she wants to do, she'll do it. And uh, even if she doesn't have the plan already all set up, she will figure a way to make things happen. 
she wants to go get it from day one. And uh, she went from uh, intern to director of Tenris. I'm always re re uh, referred to her as the face of Tenris, right? And uh, just, you know, we worked together for 25 years. And, uh, uh, you know, her work on the Strat map is legendary and will be talked about for years and years to come. She's been a great role model for like my daughters, like another example of, you know, women working their way up from intern to director of Tenris, right? So, you know, that's really cool. She's the first female director of Tenris. I was the first female director. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't really think about those kinds of things. I, I walk around not knowing, you know, who I am. I'm a five foot woman of Mexican descent and I don't know any better. I just, I just, you know, do it. So it never occurred to me that I was the first female director. Uh, first Latina director of Tenris. My girls are Latina. They were like, hey, cool, you know, Alicia's, you know, up there. She's the director now and everything. So I, I think that was, that's another really cool thing, kind of pushing toward the diversity front and, 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 and being able to represent women and, and, uh, and Latina women in that too. I think that's awesome. She epitomizes what a, uh, a representative can be and, and, and should be. Um, yeah, definitely she is a, a, a role model that, um, you know, she fell into. Um, and um, yeah, absolutely. She, she is, you know, across any industry, she's a good role model, uh, especially for a, a male dominated type of industry that we're in. Felicia kind of make me want to be better just being around her because I see all the effort that she puts into trying to be better and that has this um, synergy that wants to move everybody in, your, in her sphere of influence to be better, to be up to par with her, which is a tough call. Being up to par with Felicia is a tough call. I always loved working with Felicia. We would constantly crack each other up with small jokes or well-placed comments about the different tasks we were working on or whatever just happened to come up day to day. That being said, one of the things that always surprised me about her was how humble she was. One example really stuck out for me. We were working on the Columbia shuttle disaster in Lufkin, working crazy long hours in a super stressful, high stakes situation. And Felicia was there working on visualizations and sometimes data massage. And she had to deal with about 8,000 people coming in and out of the work area with repetitive questions, dumb questions, and sometimes extraordinary questions. But I, I could always hear her interacting with those people with, those, with the endless questions. The lulls in, in, in the traffic kind of coincided oftentimes, as, as makes sense, with the evening hours, when we could really crank out work. And I remember her turning to me and us chatting for a few moments one time, and she said something to the effect of, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Anyone could do this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I had no idea what I was doing. Well, my proverbial jaw hit the floor. I responded to her saying, what do you think could or who do you think could or would even want to field all of those questions and generate all of those maps and requests that you're doing? She really thought she wasn't doing anything special. And even though I tried to explain how important what she was doing was, I don't know that she ever really truly bought into what I was telling her. Um, we were doing extraordinary things there and she was undervaluing her part in it. Um, but that's my example of her humbleness. And I think you can really uh, see that just in, in the way that she, even you know, once she became the director of Tenris, she always just seemed like you know, one of the one of the people, one of the one one of the folks that you would you would hang out with and do things with. It wasn't like she uh, became, you know, particularly enthralled with the idea of her being the director and thinking that it somehow changed who she was. I think what surprises me is that um, that I actually had a career that I loved, that I was actually in a profession that that everyone who was in that pro or is in this profession loves. I think her superpower is in her ability to create relationships. She knew, I was convinced at one point that she knew absolutely everybody in the state of Texas. 23 years of tenors, I'm never going to say, I'm never going to say them. I'm always going to say we. Yeah, how, how can I summarize Felicia? Yeah. Um, she is uh, a force of nature, honestly. 
Well, I grew up a lot working with her. And even though uh, she may think that she's learning from me, I think the other way is also true, that everybody's learning from her. Um, she's a standout and not just for women, but just for a, just for being a GIS professional. She's amazing. I'm genuinely happy. Gen this is genuine. You know, I think that, you know, so from time to time I hear, oh, you know, nobody can be that happy. Nobody can be that, you know, it's, it's a facade. It's not a facade. I generally and, tr you know, truly am a happy-go-lucky person and you know they they say you know you identify a lot of times with your name and Felicia means happy <laughs> and I don't know how it happened but you know, I just appreciate I appreciate life in general and you know if you're here for a short time you should just be appreciative I just wanted to say congratulations to Felicia on being a GIS hero um, Felicia has been great to work with. She was one of the first people I met when I um, came to Texas in 2003. I think I met her on my first day working in Texas. So uh, ever since then, she's been a great friend and um, just great to work with over the years. Um, we used to travel around the state a bit and go to meetings and do presentations. And we were both pretty nervous about giving presentations. But I have to say, I think Felicia was a bad influence in some ways. She she talked me into doing shots before a presentation, at least once. Can you believe that?